Hello, good morning and uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we found another uh, beautiful little church, um, St. Lawrence Church in Howham. Um, Howham, I think it's pronounced that way, in, not too far from Folkestone. Um, so please join me as we take a look around um, this beautiful little church. As you can see, it's, uh, it's actually set up a little country road. It's got a little um, turning area there little bungalows and houses and this is the entrance I say it's a lovely little place it opens up to a excuse the wind by the way it's uh, yeah the winds got up all of a sudden I'm not sure why but uh, there you go but it's a beautiful churchyard well maintained very flat very flat for a churchyard as you can see beautiful old Saxon church uh, mainly flint stone construction Some lovely old graves and a nice walkway to the church itself 1855 it's a really good uh, structure I can't see any, any problems with the, uh, the church at all Certainly built to last. Some lovely old leaded windows there. As you can see. Tile roof. A little look back out of the churchyard itself. And some uh, interesting stones. This is the uh, the entrance to the church. Nice little vestibule. Let's see if it's open today. This is beautiful. Lovely oak ceiling. Looks like all the original plaster work. Lovely little stained glass window up there. On the front. Leaping down the main aisle. It's a beautiful old church and there's uh, some right there is the organ. That's an unusual uh, symbol to see in a church there. Skull and bones. It's quite a small church, but uh, it's a very small parish. Some more like carvings there. And some really beautiful stained glass. Still very vivid and colourful. It's lovely to see the way the sun uh, hits off the stained glass. Car shadows. As they take 
You look from the top section down through the church itself. Go around to the right. Oh, as you can see, there's, uh, there's old interments there in the, in the floor as usual. Let's see if we can uh, have a look at one way here. It's uh, 1707, so it gives you some idea to the age of the church. I'm sure I saw the 1600s here somewhere, but uh, it's probably older than that. Alright, let's just go around to the right again and say it's, uh, as you can see, it looks like the some of the plants was come away, etc. And they're doing some work to restore this beautiful old church. There's a coat of arms up there. It's a lovely old ceiling, so that's uh, had a bit of woodworm in its time, but nothing to be expected. Looks like this stone's taken a bit of a battering. Yeah, I'm sure it's still, probably is a working church. Uh, that was a quick look inside. Let's come on with the uh, the outside. Shall we shut the door on the way out? Really, it's a lovely church. Got some really old stones, and it um, goes back quite a way. There's some really old stones here. Looks like most of them are the 1800s. I think one thing is clear, they all died quite young. Back then I think uh, some of the oldest are, uh, I think generally in their forties. I expect that was considered uh, quite a good age. There are some old graves here. You can see that have been overgrown by Holly. They're too worn to uh, really get a date off them. Other than that, that was 1934. 
again a really beautiful churchyard and it's uh, in the middle of the countryside and wheat fields etc so again a, a lovely place to be interred just have a look at this one looks like a, a family plot yeah there's a few there but I can't can't make out how many looks about four quite a few over the back there and around that stone looks quite old maybe this was the original part of the cemetery or the oldest part well now it's 1895 aged 87 that's not bad in this it looks like there's a new section over here actually so we're still interning people yep these are all 2012 2013 and this one's 2020 loving husband dad and granddad god he was only late 40s That's sad we'll carry on around typical graveyard got some old gnarly trees which always makes them stand out beautiful we we'll just come down to this corner of the graveyard Let's see what we've got here 1860 that's uh, quite an old one William Paramot died 1860 66 years old There's quite an old stone there, as you can see. Don't think we get any dates on that one. So, there's a few more old stones mixed around the trees. Again, nothing to read on those. They're too old and weathered. Side of the church. Just as the sun comes out, we've uh, finished our little tour. Oh no, some more. Uh, older ones over the back here we'll have a quick look while we're here there's a stone there but it can't be red it's like a little child's one in the back again they're just too too far gone to do decipher anything from them which is unfortunate so we'll end our uh, our video there I do hope you enjoyed this brief look around of again this beautiful church St Lawrence Church in Hoham near Folkestone so I want to thank you for joining me again today please join me on the next one please like and subscribe and I'll see you again Goodbye.